Hi, this is Mike, and if you're following along through the series of Blackboard 9 videos, um, we've left off with faculty member using the Blackboard course generator to create a new course. And after about a half an hour, that course will be uh, ready to look at. And I've logged into Blackboard um, at bbdev.wm.edu, which is where we're hosting Blackboard 9 right now until it moves to blackboard.wm.edu. Um, so I've logged in, and I'm going to go to that new course that I built. And I'm going to go to My Courses and click on My New Course. That's what I called it. So I open up the new course, and it um, should take a couple of seconds to load. Okay, and once it loads up, you'll notice that there are some different things uh, to Blackboard 9. Um, the first thing that I'll draw your attention to, the, probably the most important thing, is the Edit Mode button. And for those of you who have been used to the um, Edit button, the edit link being on the right hand side, the top right hand side, um, in Blackboard 8, that's how you're going to make all of your changes for the most part to your content in Blackboard 9. And by default you'll see that edit mode is turned on at the top right, and I can toggle it on and off. So you'll notice when it's on I'll see um, things like this arrow here on the home page, um, I'll see arrows on my course menu, and I can see this customize page area here underneath home page and add course module under home page. Um, but if I click on edit mode off, I can see what the students will see. And I'll click on edit mode off. And I'll just click on the edit mode and that'll turn it off. And now you'll see it's a more streamlined look. And that is probably the most important new feature in Blackboard 9. That's how you're going to put in most of your content. It's through that edit mode button.